Welcome. I'm Jerry Lynch. I'm the Vinick Dean of Engineering here at Duke University. And it's a great honor for me to welcome you to the 2022 graduation ceremony to celebrate our Engineering Bachelor of Science degree recipients. What a joyful day. While a little chilly, this morning's commencement was absolutely wonderful. I'm sure that all of you in attendance or watching live stream share my unbridled joy and pride to be here today to celebrate our newest Pratt graduates. Some of you may not know this little fact, but I just started my tenure as Dean of Duke this past January. So today is even more thrilling for me as this is my first commencement weekend here at Duke, and it's been wonderful. More importantly, it's also my first as a member of this amazing Duke community. Today we also recognize that the journey taken by our graduates over the past four years have not been an uneventful one. Despite it all, they continue to demonstrate resilience, sheer talent and passion, and remained undeterred in their quest for broadening their horizons, deepening their knowledge, and amplifying their impact. This journey was not one taken alone and would not have been possible without the unwavering support from parents, guardians, grandparents, siblings, loved ones, and dear friends, many of whom are in attendance today or watching live online. Guests, if you're able, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for providing that safety net to our graduate students to have allowed them to thrive, to explore, and to live up to their fullest potentials as students here at Duke in the School of Engineering. Graduates, when you first arrived on campus back in August 2018, no one could have ever imagined that 18 months later, the world would literally come to a grinding halt. Yet you persevered and you grew. You had the courage to carry forth with your studies undaunted, and you made the best of your undergraduate experiences. And more importantly, you did so with grace and compassion, exhibiting great care and concern for each other within our community. So thank you. After your years of learning, designing, testing, and even sometimes failing, as well as leading and serving, our faculty has determined that you are ready. You have worked tirelessly to learn and to grow, and you leave our campus better, stronger, more capable than when you first arrived four years ago. You are armed with resilience and grit and ready to take on the biggest challenges yet to be solved. So watch out, world. This is your moment. Today we do two solemn and momentous things. We recognize your great achievements, and we admit you to one of humanity's finest disciplines and professions, engineering. Here are just a few highlights of your achievements that constitute the class of 2022. In your class is a recipient of the prestigious Marshall Scholarship. In the last year, members of our robotics club took first place in the National Robo Sub Competition. Your chapter of Engineers in Action, which you might also know as Duke Engineers for International Development, was named National Bridge Team of the Year. To top it off, many of you won national awards for design and entrepreneurial excellence in various national competitions. We are also immensely proud of the fact that six out of 10 of you have contributed to the research mission of this university by conducting cutting edge research with a faculty member and lab mates. You have clearly gained impressive technical skills that supremely prepare you to be the engineers that are poised for impact. To borrow a quote from the legendary Yogi Berra, the future ain't what it used to be. While our global community has made so much progress toward advancing the common good since the middle of the last century, based largely on our handiwork, technology, your ability to take the baton and to continue to advance the common good will undoubtedly be challenged by the wicked problems that lie ahead. Challenges like rapid global urbanization, acceleration of climate change, and the global spread of superbugs like antibiotic-resistant bacteria or viruses 
will demand your full attention and unbounded creativity to solve. While technology has in part contributed to these grand challenges, it also simultaneously holds the key for solving them. You are the first graduating class to come through our hands-on design curriculum, giving you very unique capabilities to more readily apply your fundamental engineering knowledge to create breakthrough technologies that have clearer and more immediate pathways to implementation and practice. We need to acknowledge that the sheer complexity of these problems renders them nearly intractable, meaning you are more likely to fail before you truly succeed. But that will be part of the fun, and when you do succeed, it will be that much more gratifying. With our society going through rapid transformations driven by technology, the moment will demand that you consider the broader societal questions that will frame your work. Foremost among them is the question, are our solutions equitable? As global change introduces higher levels of disparities across our global communities, we must be extremely thoughtful about who are the beneficiaries of our solutions with the aspiration to advance the common good. This demands an all-hands-on-deck approach, meaning you must immerse yourself in diverse teams that allow you to leverage the wealth of experiences, identity, and perspectives to fuel the creative process that leads to technological discovery. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., one of our greatest American heroes, stated in his last speech in 1968 at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. While his point is that just change takes time, I ask you graduates to not be afraid to be at the vanguard of those aiming to accelerate this needed change. Duke engineers, you are ready. You leave here equipped with your own set of superpowers that will allow you to intrepidly propel yourself forward as you strive to achieve the transformative solution that our society so direly needs. You leave with resilience and grit. You leave with an engineering education that is informed by the liberal arts of this university, and that has trained you to see the world differently, to ask deeper questions, and to explore all the dimensions of a problem of which technology will only be one. And you leave with talent, dedication, and passion, an ethos that is on display here on this hollowed court every game day. So bottle it up and be ready to douse it on every step you take forward in your personal and your professional lives. So my newest engineering colleagues, go forth to change the world for the better, make it more resilient, and make it more just. We are counting on you to succeed, so go forth boldly and proudly as Duke engineers. Congratulations to the Pratt class of 2022. Now let us hear from your ESG president. Welcome, Emma Stedman. Hello, friends, families, professors, administrators, and of course, my fellow class of 2022 graduates. For you Pratt Stars, this isn't the first time I've stood between you and a most coveted item. Today, it's our college diplomas, before it was the missing Pratt Comfies, which were more sought after, I don't know, but either way, I know I caused, I've caused enough turmoil, so I'll try to keep this brief. So first and foremost, congratulations. It's hard to believe that it's been four years since the last time we all gathered as a class in Cameron at our convocation ceremony, though that time our Trinity peers were graced with our presence. On that day, we were told about all of the incredible things our class had already done and how we would continue to do so in the next four years. So it feels particularly full circle to be back in the same spot as before, as we're about to hear our names called as graduates of Duke University's Pratt School of Engineering. Now that has a good ring to it. We've all worked so hard these last four years for this moment. Whether it was enduring sleepless nights in Perkins, studying for a math midterm, or praying you wouldn't mess up your part in the machine shop the night before it was due, 
or for our BME friends taking late night trips to the infamous Chesterfield, whatever it was, the Pratt grind certainly wasn't easy. But really, today is not just a celebration since our graduate of a hard work and sacrifice since our convocation, but rather a celebration of our last 16 years of education. For many of us, the vision of this moment has been one of our greatest motivations for as long as we can remember. For me, after I visited Duke and determined I was obsessed, I, looking back now, embarrassingly so, hung up this giant admissions poster of the chapel that read, other than the architecture, nothing here is set in stone. And even more embarrassingly so, I hung it up across from my bed so I could see it every morning when I woke up as my motivation to work as hard as I possibly could in order to get admitted into Duke. So like many of you, of course, it meant the world to me to be able to trade in that poster for the real thing, because as we all know, there's nothing quite like pulling up Chapel Drive on a perfect North Carolina sunny morning, unlike today, and seeing our gorgeous chapel, even if it was for an 8.30 Chem 101 lecture. How exciting that after all of these hard years of hard work, we'd finally get to have, as we were told, the best four years of our lives by this chapel. For us academic tryhards, we even knew that the best four years of our lives would still be hard work, and they wouldn't just include parties and formals, but instead they would include countless hours in the library and the lab. But we were excited by this because we knew we would be at one of the most incredible institutions, surrounded by the most interesting people on this picture-perfect campus. And for a while, it was that. Of course, there were greater hardships and losses and regrets and failures that made it a little less storybook than that picture we had painted in our mind growing up, but it still at least had a semblance of that picture. But then it hit. And while I'm sure many of us don't really want to think about that dreaded day in March of 2020 when we got that dreaded email notifying us that we would not, in fact, be returning home to Duke after spring break, it is so uniquely part of our story, our class of 2022 story, that it feels remiss not to reflect on that time as a class before we graduate. Because while during our first and part of our second year, we each had our own heartbreaks and troubles, this was our collective heartbreak. When I returned home to Buffalo and set up my new remote work spot in my sister's bedroom, I genuinely got out that chapel poster once again. No longer was it my motivation to get me into Duke, but rather my, motivation, my reminder to keep my motivation and love for Duke. The collective struggle we experienced will bond us as a class and as friends for the rest of our lives. We will try to find silver linings, remember that yes, of course, others had it worse, but at the end of the day, taking incredibly difficult engineering courses through a computer screen and without our friends simply was not what we had imagined for part of our Duke experience. But what hurt most of all was how we had spent our entire lives working for something, that magical Duke experience we'd heard about, and it got taken away from us so quickly, and it was completely out of ours or anyone else's hands. And while right now what I'm saying is a bit depressing to think about, it's an undeniable part of our experience, and it also makes the fact that we're here today, gathered together in our beautiful Cameron Indoor, all that more special. We've seen firsthand how a moment like this, that we thought was so guaranteed as long as we worked hard and passed our classes, could be ripped away in an instant for our friends in the class of 2020. And for a while, it wasn't even clear if we would get our moment. So let us not take this for granted. To be here to celebrate our greatest accomplishments, surrounded by professors who have mentored us, the staff who have supported us, the friends who have laughed and cried with us, and our families who have raised us into the people we are today is truly such a privilege. It's easy to just see this ceremony as a stepping stone to propel us into the real world, to the future, and whatever comes next. As Duke students, it's hard for us to not be constantly planning ahead. And in some ways, we've had to in order to get to this point. So for once in our lives, let's not. Because we know better than anyone that those things we're waiting for, the events that we think will finally make us feel fulfilled, can be taken away at any second. Now when I think back to that poster, the message, nothing here is set in stone, has a new meaning. Living in the moment, not taking things for granted, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. While these may be cliche sentiments, we've become acutely aware to how true it all really is. So though most graduation speeches tend to give advice for the future, I won't. Partially because I feel wildly underqualified to give a bunch of Duke engineers any advice when you all have shown me how brilliant and creative you all are, but mostly because on this day of our graduation, we should get to just celebrate our successes, mourn what we've lost, and honor all the ways in which we have persisted. We've worked too hard these last four years not to. 
So let us celebrate that we did return home to campus and have been able to stroll past our gorgeous chapel on the daily this past year. Let us celebrate with our friends who we have gone to have year-long summer parties with and who have become our second family. Let us celebrate the classmates we've met who've challenged our views of the world and pushed us to be the best versions of ourselves. Let us celebrate even our worst failures, which showed us how capable we are of bouncing back. Let us celebrate that the second half of the missing comfy shipment did arrive, so we all had matching blue outfits in Kayville this year to make everyone in Trinity jealous. And let us celebrate the performances we've had, the games we've played, the projects we've built, and the legacies we've left. And let us celebrate the fact that we are one of the most resilient classes that Duke University has ever had. For today, we don't need to worry about what's next. We as a class have already had to figure out how to survive when our lives were completely uprooted once before. So if there's one thing I know, it's that we are more prepared than any graduating class before us to leave this supposedly predetermined path that now opens to a world of possibilities. Soon we'll leave campus and no longer will we have to reluctantly replace the real chapel with a flimsy poster, but instead we'll be able to proudly hang our diplomas as a reminder of all that we have endured and all that we have accomplished. Class of 2022, be proud of yourselves, thank your friends, families, and professors, and celebrate the fact that we are all now forever Duke. Emma, thank you for those wonderful remarks. I really love that. Nothing here is set in stone. So true. Before we begin the presentation of diplomas, we complete the first of our tasks, recognizing achievement with the bestowing of awards on members of the class of 2022. Loved ones and friends, the names of these awards and the outstanding students are noted in the program. Honored graduates receiving awards, Please proceed now to the stage so that you are ready to come to the lectern when your name is called. It is my honor to present the Walter J. Seeley Scholastic Award. The Walter J. Seeley Scholastic Award is presented annually by the engineering student government to the members of the graduating class who have achieved the highest scholastic average in all subjects and who have shown diligence in pursuit of an engineering education. The award honors the spirit of academic excellence and professional diligence demonstrated by the late Dean Seeley. The three recipients of the Seeley Award are George Hong, James Michael Marrick, and Juliet Amelia Marzella Isnaga. Next, the Tau Beta Pi Award will be presented by my colleague, Professor Michael Gustafson. The Otto Meyer Jr. Tau Beta Pi Award is presented in recognition of Dr. Meyer's leadership in establishing the North Carolina Gamma Chapter on January 10, 1948, and his continuous service until April 19, 1975, as chapter advisor. This award is given annually to those graduating Tau Beta Pi Honor Society members who symbolize best the distinguished scholarship and exemplary character required for membership. This year's recipient is Rebecca Ann Lau. Next, 
The Pratt School of Engineering Student Service Award will be presented by Jennifer Ganley, Director of Undergraduate Student Affairs. The Pratt School of Engineering Student Service Award, established in 1978, is given to the graduating seniors who by contributions of time, effort, and spirit have significantly benefited the community of the School of Engineering. The recipients this year are Chi Shamiso Zano Chidea and Philip Wang Liu. Next are awards in the Department of Biomedical Engineering. The Da Vinci Award and Helmholtz Award will be presented by Professor Mark Summer. The Da Vinci Award is presented to the Biomedical Engineering Senior or Seniors with the most outstanding academic record as determined by a faculty committee. The award commemorates the contribution of Leonardo da Vinci in laying the foundations for the mechanistic study of human life. The recipient is John Douglas Boom. Boom. <laughs> The Helmholtz Award is given to graduating seniors who present the best research projects as judged by the faculty of the Department of Biomedical Engineering. The award commemorates the work of Hermann von Helmholtz in laying the foundation of biomedical engineering. The recipient is Michael Kianjun Tian. Next, the Edward D. Ned Light Memorial Award will be presented by Professor Ann Satterbach. The Edward D. Ned Light Memorial Award is given by the Department of Biomedical Engineering to the project, to the best engineering design project as judged by a faculty committee. It was established in 2012 in memory of Ned Light who worked for 22 years at Duke, pioneering research in real-time 3D ultrasound imaging and mentoring a host of undergraduate students, both in the lab and in life skills. The recipients are Arushi Biswas and Caroline Grace Saltzman. Next, the Theo C. Pilkington Memorial Award will be presented by Professor Libby Buchholz. The Theo C. Pilkington Memorial Award was established in 1993 by the Whitaker Foundation as an endowment award in memory of Dr. Theo C. Pilkington, founding chair of the Duke Department of Biomedical Engineering. The recipient is selected at the end of the junior year. The award is given in recognition of outstanding perseverance and accomplishment in the study of biomedical engineering. This year's recipient is Ramona Sonia Nasseri.
Next are the award um, in the Department of Civil Environmental Engineering. The ASCE Outstanding Senior Prize and William Brewster Snow Environmental Engineering Award will be presented by Professor Andrew Jones. The ASCE Outstanding Senior Prize is presented annually by the North Carolina Section of the American Society of Civil Engineers to a graduating civil or environmental engineering senior in recognition of an exceptional, positive impact on the student chapter of ASCE and their scholastic record. The recipient is Valerie So. The William Brewster Snow Environmental Engineering Award, established in 1979, is presented annually to the senior or seniors who have demonstrated academic excellence, interest, and enthusiasm in the study of environmental engineering. The recipients this year are Ching Ching Catherine Lee and Zhou Wang. Next, the Aubrey E. Palmer Award and Eric E. Poss Award will be presented by Professor Mike Bergen. The Aubrey E. Palmer Award, established in 1980, is presented annually to a civil or environmental engineering senior in recognition of outstanding academic achievement. Selection is made by department faculty, and this year's recipient is James Michael Merrick. The Eric I. Pass Award, established in 1998 in memory of Dr. Eric Pass, former Director of Undergraduate Studies in Civil and Environmental Engineering, is presented to the graduating civil or environmental engineering senior or seniors judged by the faculty to have conducted the most outstanding independent study project. This year, there are two recipients, Ching Chi Catherine Lee and Jenny Z. Young. Next, awards in the Department of Electrical and Cu Computer Engineering will be pre presented by Professor Lisa Hoodle. The David Randall Fuller Prize for Achievement in Electrical and Computer Engineering is presented annually to the graduating senior who has shown the most improvement in academic performance over the first three years. The recipient this year is Isabella Michelle Knox.
The George Sherrod III Memorial Award in Electrical and Computer Engineering is given annually to the senior or seniors in electrical and computer engineering who, in the opinion of the department faculty, have attained the highest level of scholastic achievement in all subjects and simultaneously have rendered significant service to the School of Engineering and the University at large. The award was established in 1958 by the parents of George Sherrod III, a graduate of the class of 1955, to recognize outstanding undergraduate scholarship. This year's recipients are Alexander Xinliang Esterling and Juliet Amalia Marzala Isnaga. The Marie Foote Real Undergraduate Research Award is awarded each year to the most outstanding undergraduate research project and presentation as judged by the department faculty. The award is named in honor of Marie Foote Real, a graduate of the class of 1946, who was one of the first women to graduate from Duke's College of Engineering with a degree in electrical engineering. This year's recipient is Doherty Wirand. The Charles Rowe Vale Memorial Outstanding Undergraduate Teaching Award, established in 1997 by former students and colleagues of Charles Vale, a graduate of the class of 1937, professor from 1939 until 1967, and chair of the Department of Electrical Engineering from 1956 until 1964, recognizes the most outstanding undergraduate teaching assistant in the department. This year's recipient, is Sanika Girish Gupta. Next are the awards in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Material Science. The Pi Tau Sigma Scholarship Award will be presented by Professor Donald Bliss. The Pi Tau Sigma Scholarship Award in memory of T.C. Hayward Sr. is presented annually by the Pi Tau Sigma Honor Society to an outstanding senior or seniors in mechanical engineering. Selection is based on academic excellence, engineering ability, and leadership. The choice is made by a committee of the engineering faculty. The recipients are Jerting May and Shannon Cassidy Smith. Next, the Mechanical Engineering and Material Science Faculty Award and the Raymond C. Gogler Material Science Award will be presented by Professor Nico Hotz. The Mechanical Engineering and Material Science Faculty Award is presented annually in recognition of academic excellence 
to the graduating mechanical engineering senior or seniors who have attained the highest level of scholastic achievement as determined by the faculty. The recipients are Jack Edward Horton and Vincent Yuchen Wei. The Raymond C. Gogler Award in Material Science and Engineering recognizes the senior who made the most progress in developing competence in material science or materials engineering. The basis for selection is scholarship record, research or design projects completed at Duke, and interest in a materials-related career. The award was established by Patricia S. Pearsall in memory of her grandfather, who was president of the American Cyanamide Company prior to his death in 1952. The recipient is Rebecca Ann Law. Next, our engineering faculty will present awards for graduation with departmental distinction. Graduation with departmental distinction is awarded to the students who have, in the opinion of special faculty committees in each academic discipline, to have demonstrated exceptional achievement in their areas of special interest by conducting independent research or study. Each honored student, you may stand as your name is called. The awards of graduation with Department of Distinction in Biomedical Engineering will first be presented by Professor Mark Summer. Graduation with Distinction in Biomedical Engineering is awarded to the students who, in the opinion of a special faculty committee, have demonstrated exceptional achievement in the areas of their special interest by conducting independent research culminating in a distinguished piece of writing. I will call out the names and I ask you to stand uh, when you hear your name for uh, distinction. The students who have graduated with departmental distinction in biomedical engineering are John Douglas Boom, <laughs> Molly Antara Chakraborty, Lahandro Christian Choi, Grace Ellen Desert, Yesh Sachijit Doctor, Rishab Jain, Gabrielle Catherine Marushak, Ramona Sonia Nazari, Ethan J. Niklo, Jonathan Jude Shamindra Edward Pereira. <laughs> Zewi Shi. Claire Zuder. Michael Kianjun Tian. Simone Adrian Wall. and Jacqueline Jimmy Shao. Thank you all. Next, the awards of uh, graduation with departmental distinction in civil and environmental engineering will be presented by Professor, Professor Andrew Jones. Graduation with departmental distinction is an honor earned by civil and environmental engineering students who have attained a high level of academic achievement, 
have conducted an independent study project, have been assessed by a faculty and committee to have written a publication quality research paper, and have professionally presented their work before an audience of faculty and peers. The students who have graduated with departmental distinction in civil and environmental engineering are Ching Ching Catherine Lee, please stand. Jenny Z Liang. And Zhuo Wang. Thank you, and you may be seated. Next, the awards of graduation with departmental distinction in electrical and computer engineering will be presented by Professor Leah Weddell. Lisa Wethel. Graduation with distinction in electrical and computer engineering is awarded to students who have achieved outstanding academic performance and have completed a faculty supervised independent study research project in their senior year. The significance of this project has been demonstrated in a formal written report and defended in an oral presentation before a committee of faculty members. The students who have graduated with departmental distinction in electrical and computer engineering are, please stand when I call your name, Guang Yu Fang, <laughs> Simon Gorbati, <laughs> Doherty Wirand, Adrian Lopez, <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Lee Richards, <laughs> Alex Quan Zhu, <laughs> and Michael Yuanyi Shui. Congratulations. Next, the awards of graduation with departmental distinction in mechanical engineering will be presented by Professor Don Bliss. Students receiving graduation with departmental distinction in mechanical engineering performed high-level research under faculty supervision, maintained a high grade point average, submitted a research paper, and gave an oral presentation to a faculty committee. Students who have graduated, the students who have graduated with Department of Distinction in Mechanical Engineering are Jonathan Donald Ng, <laughs> Leif C. Calico, Re Rebecca Ann Lau, Jerting May and Shannon Cassidy Smith. Next, our engineering faculty will recognize students who have completed independent scholarship and fellowship programs. These programs include the A. James Clark Scholars, Biomedical Engineering Design Fellows, Pratt Research Fellows, and the Costaleas NAE Grand Challenge Scholars. Next, the A. James Clark Scholars will be recognized by Professor Will, Bill Walker, the Matson Family and Goldman Sachs Director of Entrepreneurial Ventures in Engineering. The A. James Clark Scholars is a signature engineering education program of the A. James and Alice B. Clark Foundation. Duke is one of 11 top U.S. engineering institutions in which the Clark Foundation has invested. The Clark Scholars program at Duke financially supports students of need who exhibit strong academic and leadership potential. Duke's Clark Scholars pursue a rigorous curriculum of engineering study. They take business courses, receive leadership training and mentorship, and participate in community service. The class of 2022 includes the first Clark Scholars to graduate from Duke University. A. James Clark Scholars, please stand.
Next, the Duke Biomedical Engineering Design Fellows will be recognized by Professor Mark Palmieri. The Duke Biomedical Engineering Design Fellowship is an intensive three semester and one summer program for undergraduates studying biomedical engineering. Over the course of their fellowship, each design fellow designs, constructs, and demonstrates a functional medical instrument that seeks to address a clinical need identified by doctors in the Duke University Medical Center. Some design fellows have also completed internships at medical engineering companies, including several located in nearby Research Triangle Park. Duke BME Design Fellows, please stand to be recognized. Next, the Pratt Research Fellows and Casaleas NEA Grand Challenge Scholars will be recognized by Dean Lynch. It is my privilege to recognize members of the class of 2022 who completed two rigorous research fellowship programs at the Pratt School of Engineering. First, the Pratt Research Fellows. Pratt Fellows are selected in the first semester of junior year to participate in the most intense and rigorous undergraduate research experience to be found at any U.S. university. Pratt Fellows perform their research during two academic years and a summer on a topic that they have chosen and with the guidance of a faculty advisor. Pratt Fellows regularly produce published research and make presentations at conferences. Some have filed for patents. After graduation, Pratt Fellows have gone on to win important scholarships and fellowships and accept admittance to esteemed PhD programs, medical schools, and positions in industry. Pratt Research Fellows, you may stand. Next, the Castileus NAE Grand Challenge Scholars. This program, founded by my predecessor, Dean Thomas C. Castileus, is endorsed by the National Academy of Engineering. It prepares students to be generational leaders focused on solving the grand challenges facing society and our planet. The program is multi-component, including research and practical experiences, multidisciplinary learning, and required dimensions of entrepreneurship, global awareness, and service, all focused on one of the 14 grand challenges identified by the NAE. Each scholar records their progress in an online portfolio available to the public. In addition to a special designation on their official Duke transcripts, each student receives a letter of congratulations from the president of the National Academy of Engineering. Castileus NAE Grand Challenge Scholars, you may stand. Class of 2022, we have recognized your many accomplishments. Next, we, remove, we move to our remaining task at hand. To formally admit you to the profession of engineering, we are now honored to make the presentation of diplomas. This portion of our ceremony will be led by my colleague, Professor Linda Franzoni, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Education. We need the biomedical engineering students to come forward, please. The names of the graduates in biomedical engineering will be read by Professors Mark Summer and Libby Buchholz. Okay, biomedical engineering. Uh, Pearl Analik. <laughs> Caroline Baker. <laughs> S 
Sydney Lane Beckler. Arushi Biswas. John Douglas Boom. Brian Alexander Boson. James Cameron. Jake Emmett Cariello. Molly Antora Chakraborty. Alexander Chen. Jia Yu Chung. Philip Cho. Lahandro Christian Choi. Sydney Dale Collins. Phoebe Sarah DeJour. Jarrett Dobbins. Yesh Suchujit Doctor. Lingyi Joy Fu. Alejandro Gaona. Andrew Thomas Genuit. Tina Tin Georgia. Gabriel B. Goldhagen. Congratulations. Sanika Girish Gupte. Kayu Han. Rebecca Duncan Hogwood. Kuei Ten Nguyen. Rishab Jain. Anish Karpurapu. Jacob ben Benjamin Key. Elisa Lingyang Kong. Xu Hyung Lee. Joshua Yao Lee. Sean Young Lee. Rachel Lopez. Gabrielle Catherine Marushak. Cameron Scott Frazier Murr. Ramona Sonia Nasseri. Jack Clifford Nastas. Ethan J. Nicklo. Jonathan Jude Shamindra Edward Pereira. Benjamin Alexander Randuing. Elena Luisa Rapian. Caroline Grace Salzman. Pranav Bharati Sharma. Wayne Shiv. Haley Elena. Snyder. Anuj Song. Amanda Grace Stull. Claire Zuder. Vanessa Tam. 
Catherine Dejing Tang. William Vincent Taylor. Ria Tim Ayagari. Zachary David Edwin Thompson. Michael Tian. Kayana Tyson. Mano Mayok Vakil. Simone Adrian Wall. Henry Yuhang Wu. Jacqueline Jime Chow. Jinyi Shin. Leo Young. Selena Gu Jo. The graduates in civil engineering major and environmental engineering majors will be presented by Professors Andrew Jones and Mike Bergen. Isabel Sophia Bank. <laughs> Philip Bartel. <laughs> Kayla Grace Basmajan. <laughs> Alexandra Reese Bussey. Ivan Cortez. <laughs> Alexandra Claire Fine. <laughs> Angela G. Chin Chi Catherine Lee. Jenny Z. Liang. James Michael Merrick. Yasmin Messri. Valerie Zhao. Elena Lucia Wachter. Jiwa Wang. Sadie Louise Wood. The graduates with a major in electrical and computer engineering will be presented by professors Michael Gustafson and John Board. Oname Akinbode James. Vinit Alaparte. Huda Mansur Aldada. Muthu Cariso Arivoli. Catherine Ann Barbano. Robert Hamilton Barnett. Matthew Acuff Belissery. 
Mary Elizabeth Bertoni. Noah Bessner. Milan Bott. Nicholas Bimani. Franklin Sapon Wanpon. Nolan Quinn Burroughs. William Chase Carlson. Madeline Cicchini. Claudia Arlene Chapman. Thomas Paul Cheminor. Yi Chen. Mark Stephen Shmileski. Jim Cho. Maverick Chung. David Joseph Kaufman. Fernanda Estrella Corona Cerezo. Evelyn Cupel Garcia. Achilles Joseph Dabrowski. Nicholas Edward Decapite. McKendry Ann Denzel. Marius Nathaniel E. Young Derenzinski Chu. Michael McMartin Dodd. Jason Dong. Yasser Amzudi. Ryan Feinberg. Guang Yu Feng. Benjamin Sam Fizel. Wyatt Foch. Rodrigo Garcia Cervantes. Heather Lynn Groom. Gwen Jue Gu. Dorothy Grant. Kevin Hendrick. Jet Hollister. George Hong. Adam Keith Hustetler. Malvika Snyder Jane. Tyler Andrew Jang. Cameron Mayer Jarno. Eric Dean Jang. Alexander Joseph Jimenez. Tao Jin. Amber Yana Johnson. Mohammed Ishan Katami. (laughs) 
James Gilwoo Kim. Isabella Michelle Knox. Varun Shorf Kosky. Andrew Stephen Pryor. Ashintia Sundar Kumar. Samarth Lamba. Montana Alexis Lee. Samuel B. Lee. Tess Isabel Lipsky. William Matthews Long IV. Adrian Lopez. Grant Joseph Lopresti. Benjamin Liu. Rachel Benke Luria. Rhea Magan. James Oscar McMullen. Jackson David McNabb. Ryan Mecca. Beatrice Medrano. Joshua William Medway. Nathaniel Mela. Ryan Paul Anthony Middlemas. Dana Maeve Cody Mulligan. Alexander Xinliang Osterling. Thomas Edward Owens. Roshni Camilla Penmacha. Arjun Perry. Andrew Joseph Peterson. Luke Isaac Peterson. Shaw Q. Phillips. Sean Isaac Porch. Jackson Selchow Proudfoot. Thomas Quintanilla. Karthik Ramachandran. George Botro Sarif Fratev. Priya Lakshmi Ruthanavelu. Megan Elizabeth Lee Richards. Latham Allen Robinson. Anna Luisa Ruskovsky Mies. Andrew James Sander. Jonathan Christopher Sandoval. Sarov Kanoth Sanjay. Kayla Shuval. Livia Ann Seibert. Alyssa Shin. Luisa Fogolin Pereira da Silva. Amir Syed Ibrahim. Amjad Syed Ibrahim. Hosam Toggledin. Michelle Rose Tai. Frank Lu Tang. 
Jacob Thomas. Kathy Wong. Jerry Wong. Braden Ward. Ryan K. Wiratunga. Christian Chase Welch. Shu Fan Wen. Chloe Elizabeth White. Kyle James White. Sebastian Wisniewski Williams. Daniel David Winkleman. Anna Luisa Hack Wolf. Mindy Wu. Jimmy Xiao. Alex Xu. Michael Wenyi Shui. Jessica Xiaoyuan Yang. Juliet Amalia Marzella Isnaga. Daniel Zhang. Xinyu Michelle Zhang. Qiqian Zhou. Next, I have the privilege of presenting graduates who have completed independent majors through the Interdisciplinary Engineering and Applied Science Program. Ellen, oh, sorry, Grace Ellen Dessert. <laughs> Mina Gudapathy. <laughs> Jacob Ian Kramer. <laughs> Santiago Lejeune. Frank Patrick Marinello. Sophie Rubin. Andre Connor Tan Tai. Finally, the graduates in mechanical engineering will be presented by Professors Neil Simmons, Becky Simmons, and Sophia Santillan. Catherine Vaden Alexander. Alexis Graciela Almeida. Ethan Austin. Sydney Eliza Beckett. Daniel Behrens. Beatrice Denicio Boyce. Santiago Jose Brito Valdez. Holden Woodley Burroughs Jr. Chesamiso Jomo Chidea. Charles Clark. Mary Cobb. Bennett Liam David. Luke Ditzler. Megan E. Doyle. Anthika Durasalva. William Henry Eisner. Joseph Paul Emmer. 
Jack Hollis Falston. Joanna Elizabeth Feaster. Ryland David Foy. Javier Jose Franco. Claire Farina. Wilmer Andrew Garcia. Oliver Scott Gibson. Kartike Gold. John Gross. Jared Luke Gudino. Stella Mylena Haley. Wesley Weitong Hardin. Matthew Ryan Hazenwinkle. Giselle Havas. Sophia Hornstein. Jack Edward Horton. Thomas James Howe. Jonathan Donald Inge. Marcellus Anthony Jordan III. Leaf C. Calico. Jackson Blaze Kennedy. Kevin Kerner. Wasm Y.H. Khan Napori. Rebecca Ann Law. <laughs> Philip Liu. <laughs> Catherine Livingston. <laughs> Powell Whitson Low. <laughs> Emily Ma. Hannah Madalena Mark. <laughs> Jiting Mei. Jordan Alexander Moldau. Mario Enrique Munoz. Emmy Etsue Muranaka. Justin Michael Nicholsberg. Kevin Pang. William Silverthorne Rawlings. Liam Samuel Reynolds. Jonathan Hunter Riley. Daniel Anthony Ringness. Francisco Roberto Romano. Ashley Rosen. Justin Philip Shoffley. Garrett Michael Smith. Shannon Cassidy Smith. Emma Claire Stedman. Elijah Cass Vale. Pablo Vidal. Alejandro Vogel. Olivia Vogel. 
Danielle Iman von Briesen. Vincent Yuchen Wang. Lowell Scott Weil III. Everett Werner. Montana Jesse Williams. Patrick Mancuso Wilson. Richard Wong. Elise Shaw. Harry Zhu. Jonathan Yonke. Junchua Zhang. Joey Yi Zhou. Dean Lynch and fellow faculty, that concludes the presentation of the graduates from the Pratt School for the class of 2022. recognize the class of 2022's many accomplishments with the granting of awards. We have admitted the class of 2022 into the practice of engineering with the presentation of diplomas. What a joyous day. So just a few words of business before we depart. Graduates, please wait at your seats to allow the faculty procession to exit first. Graduates and families, please know that afterwards, the faculty and myself will meet you outside at Kayville for pictures. And one final thank you to Pratt faculty and staff. Please accept my thanks for all that you have done to inspire and equip this class of amazing Duke engineers. So please join me in thanking the faculty and the staff of the Pratt School of Engineering. This concludes our ceremony. Go forward with our best wishes for your continued success. And once more, congratulations to the class of 2022.